As their slogan says, take your dream to travel around the world. Let's get started. Hey, what is going on YouTubers? Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today, I'm very happy to show you guys the brand new Seaflight Dream Drone that I got directly from this company, Seaflight. If you guys follow my channel, you have noticed that I did complete the unboxing and the review of the Seaflight obtained about eight months ago. It was a very impressive drone in terms that it looked almost identical to the Mavic Pro. And now here we have basically the same concept, guys, but now it looks more like the Spark. This thing is almost identical with the exception that we don't have the same sensors on the front side of the drone but the camera the design the motors the size everything is almost the same as the spark now the difference here is guys that well we are not going to get the same camera quality but on the other hand this thing has improved in many different ways when it comes to the flying abilities now it is a lot more stable it has longer range it has a very decent battery but the camera is only at 1080p. So if you guys want something to record professional videos, then I gotta say this drone may not be for you, then you might as well go with a DJI drone. But now if you guys are looking for something to fly around, to have fun, and at the same time save some money in case you crash it, well, this is the way to go. So let's go ahead and get started here, guys, by completing the unboxing. But first of all, I wanna show you here around the box. So on the side here, we have a QR code so you can download the application and also learn more about this drone. On the application itself, you will find the manuals already on there. Then on the other side here, we got some barcodes um, telling us the color and everything of the drone. So I got the red color version, as you guys can appreciate. And this is recommended for ages 18 plus. This is not a toy, even though it is a very small drone, meaning that this thing is under 250 grams. So it is a very light drone. In my particular case, guys, I got the red color version, as you saw from the side of the box, and it comes also in white, and that's it. So let's go ahead and check out what comes inside of the box. And by the way, guys, this is made of a very hard cardboard. It feels very nice and premium. You can almost use it as a case. Now inside here, well, we got the drone itself, as you guys can appreciate, very tiny. I mean, just compared here to my hand, my hand is actually a little bit bigger than this. And I gotta say, I have about average hands here, guys. So very cool looking little drone. And then you have a divider here, a foam divider. And inside we have everything very nicely organized on here. We got the transmitter itself. And this is by the way, a 2.4 gigahertz, I believe if I'm not mistaken. And it comes with a uh, built-in Wi-Fi. It connects directly to your smartphone for the camera and such. We're gonna be talking about this in just a second. So then we got here the manuals and the manuals were eaten by my dog. So I do apologize for this guys. We have a uh, disclaimer safety guideline. So inside of the box guys, we also got here some other stuff. We have the USB charging port for the battery and also the transmitter. We got some extra props in case you guys break them. I would recommend that you guys get more directly from the website just in case you have an accident. I haven't had one yet. Then we got here the drone battery and I think this is going to be, yep, 11.4 volts and it has about 950 milliamps. I'm not sure if you guys can appreciate that right there, but it is a pretty light battery. I gotta say that you guys must get at least two because this thing is only gonna last you about 12 to 13 minutes. They are promising 15, but if you guys are recording, it's not going to have the same lifespan. So in my particular testing, it lasted me about 13 minutes at the most. Then on here, we have the transmitter battery. It is rechargeable, so it makes it look a little bit more premium. And this battery in particular is 2,500 milliamps at 3.7 volts. So again, I'm not sure if you guys can see that right there, but it is a pretty decent battery. And here we have, of course, the charger itself for the battery of the drone itself. And finally, we got the power cord and that's what we find inside of the box. All right guys, so here we have the Seafly Dream all set up and ready to go. I went ahead and installed the battery, calibrated the compass as well as the gyro, which is a must for you guys to get a very nice and smooth flight. And everything is working as intended. For the first time in a very long time, guys, I felt at ease flying this drone. It doesn't feel like it's just gonna take off and you're gonna lose it or cause damage to anything out there, to any object or even people. This thing is very, very nice to fly on the front here we have a two axis gimbal with a 1080p camera and yes the camera guys is not going to provide professional recording but if you guys want it for the use that i'm going to do myself on it which is just for pleasure then the camera is okay it is going to provide nice colors everything is going to be viewable 
but again the recording is not for professional videos or even pictures so if you guys need that then you need to go with maybe the DJI Mavic Pro or something equivalent to that particular drone so this one again is $279 with the transmitter if you guys get it without the transmitter it's only $219 so here you guys can see that on the bottom side we also have a sensor for landing purposes on the front we have no sensors whatsoever I believe the real one does have some crash avoidance sensors you're not gonna get that with this particular drone uh, the battery again is about 900 milliamps able to last about 13 14 minutes the most if you're not recording uh, they are promising 15 minutes so they were very very close I would recommend that you guys get a secondary battery if you can and yes here we have the transmitter and the transmitter is almost all set up to go here I have the battery so all you got to do guys to set it up is just open the back compartment right here make sure that you take a look at the pins and match them here with the transmitter itself and it goes in likewise and now you installed the battery cover here very easy to do and you're all set to go so then here on the front side the first thing you must do is go ahead and open the antennas then you got the bracket for your cell phone and it is adjustable which is really nice now here we have a couple switches and buttons as you guys can tell so the first switch we have on the upper left hand side corner looking at it from the front is the one that will uh, give you the um, altitude hold mode you have position mode and orbit I'm not sure why they wrote an S on there but yes this is orbit we got here the gimbal wheel so you can move the camera upwards or downwards then on the other side here this switch really does not serve any purpose on this particular drone right here it's just gonna be a switch and then here we got the auto return um, switch and then this one is for calibration purposes. I believe if you flick it a couple times, I think it's three times, it'll go into calibration mode, but it is a lot better if you guys do it directly from the application. So here we have the auto takeoff, auto landing button, and then we got the power on switch, okay? And we also have the picture slash recording button right here on the right side, and that's pretty much it. So you guys can tell it is a very easy drone to use. Uh, nothing very hard to do here and then on the bottom we got the micro USB port for charging purposes and that's pretty much it and now guys here during the flight first and foremost we can see that it is a very stable drone the GPS positioning is great I don't have any problems with it it is a super stable drone and like I said before I felt at ease flying this thing meaning that I didn't have that anxiety that this thing was just gonna take off and get lost or damage something hit somebody you're not gonna have that feeling this thing flies like a true premium device now when it came to the cameras you guys can appreciate well the recording is not the best that we have seen on a budget drone drone but it still does the job okay there is a little bit of a jello effect meaning that it vibrates a little bit but other than that it is a pretty stable drone very easy to fly and the cool part about it guys is that I was able to get the full 13 minutes of flight time recording with this drone right here and you have two options you can either have it to where you can record directly from the SD card meaning that everything is going to be saved on the drone or you can have it to where your smartphone can be storing the entire video in my personal experience you will get better quality when you use the SD card because everything is going to be stored directly and you're not using that Wi-Fi transmission in which it will cause for you to lose some quality from the camera so if you guys want the best quality out of it I would recommend installing an SD card on the drone and you're gonna be thanking me later other than that guys I gotta say that I'm truly impressed with this particular drone and of course the price is gonna drop very very soon I would say if it drops to about $200 maybe 175 180 this thing is an absolute steal because you get so much range again about 800 meters the most it is a very very impressive range for such a small drone and with that being said guys I think that now we have successfully completed here the unboxing the setup and the review of this little drone right here and like I said before if you guys want this for pleasure just to be on the hobby and fly this thing around and have some fun with it and at the same time learn from it especially since it is not that expensive then I can say yes go ahead and purchase this one right here but if you guys are looking more of a professional video coming from the drone you're gonna use it for work or things that are related then I can't recommend it I would say go with the DJI drones or something professional and you're gonna be better off that way so with this being said guys please let me know what you think on the comment section below about this particular drone don't forget to like this video subscribe for more thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on my next one